Look at my hair. <laughs> Okay, okay, so What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey. And today, we are gonna get into the Soul Tanical Sprout Wash Day. Yes, I got my hands on the Sprout Collection, and we got a lot to talk about. So, if you're interested in finding out if these products are worth your coins and the drive to the walls, marks, then keep watching. <laughs> in my previous video, I used a DIY clay mask to revert my straight natural hair and it was an amazing and messy experience. <laughs> I'll leave a link to that video in the cards and in the description box below so you can watch it after this. But my hair feels really good and it is ready for this wash day. Now, although my hair reverted back to curly, I feel like I'm experiencing a lot of frizz, especially after using a clay mask. So I'm super excited to use a Soltanical Sprout Collection that boasts about strength, moisture, and elasticity. To prep for my cleanser, I'm resaturating my hair with water and then I'm going in with the Soltanical Sprout Butter Shampoo. And I picked this up at my local Walmart for $9.97, but they recommend that you use this product if you love a soft, luxurious product, massaging, conditioning, cleansing, slippery, having, detangling with ease, wash day experience. Yes. Yes, I like that very much. <laughs> this rich, creamy shampoo is supposed to soften, improve hair elasticity, cleanse without stripping, reduce hair shedding, and nourish all in one. And I must say, it is giving what it had was supposed to give. That didn't make sense, but y'all know what I mean. It was doing the darn thing, okay? Now, at first, the product didn't feel like much, but once I saturated my hair with it, like I slapped a lot of it on, it was very softening and it had some good slip to it. I don't know, the texture is kind of watery like the As I Am co-wash, but I think it's a little looser and I kind of wish this came in a bottle. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it's kind of like I have to like balance product in my hand as I transport it from the jar that's on my tub to my head so I don't really care for that but you know whatever and then although it was easy to spread through my hair I felt like I had to place the product on my scalp because as I was rubbing it through my hair it was not getting onto my scalp okay but can we talk about these ingredients the key ingredients are fermented rice water biotin and MSN which all promote hair growth strengthen the hair and improve the overall condition of the hair which is perfect for coming out of a heat style it also has mango butter aloe vera and glycerin and all these yummy ingredients make for a truly slippery and softening product but like i mentioned before i use a lot of this product so if you want it to last more than one wash day i would suggest trying to apply it on soaking wet hair and then also focus it on your scalp first and kind of do it in sections then work it through your hair I don't know if that will work, but that is just my attempt to help you stretch it. But either way you toss it, this is an eight ounce jar. And then if your hair is thicker and longer than mine, child, you, you probably just gonna get one use. <laughs> But look at my hair, y'all. You can just see the soft, bouncy curls through the screen, and it felt really good after rinsing as well. And as I'm rinsing, you'll see me lightly finger detangling and scrubbing my scalp a bit just to make sure that all the product is off. Overall, I would definitely recommend this product if you don't mind having to buy it every other wash day. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Sultanical Sprout-tastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treatment. And the key ingredients are amla and fermented rice grains to strengthen, repair, and to thicken the hair. And the directions do say to warm it prior to use for curl popping results. But honestly, you don't have to do all that, okay? This deep conditioner spreads onto the hair very nicely. And I feel like as long as your hair has some sort of moisture on top of it, you'll be fine. And they say that this botanical, creamy, nutrient-rich deep conditioner promotes hair growth and detangles thick, thirsty tresses while adding comb through spreadability. And they ain't lying, okay? <laughs> it was so yummy, I could barely twist my hair, okay? Talk about slippery, silky, and softening. And I didn't even have to use a ton of it for my hair to feel coated. And even though it was very slippery, I could tell that the rice water and its strengthening friends clocked in for work, okay? Some of the other ingredients that I noticed are aloe leaf juice, olive oil, avocado oil, pro-vitamin B5, shea butter, 
And I love that it also has hydrolyzed rice protein, which makes it easier to penetrate these strands, honey. Also note <laughs> that all of the proteins or strengthening ingredients are at the bottom of the list. So this isn't going to be a strong protein treatment, which makes it perfect for your protein balanced wash days, okay? <laughs> But I'm just gonna continue distributing the product throughout my hair, twisting it up, and then I'm gonna put on my plastic cap and go apply some heat. I'll be back. And here I am 30 minutes later, and y'all, my hair has absorbed a good bit of the product and it feels soft to touch, but let's see how my hair feels after it's rinsed out. And just like I did with the butter shampoo, I'm just making sure that I thoroughly rinse the mask out, and so far my hair feels good. And y'all, I am just loving the curls and this new length. Like, <laughs> my hair was straight for three weeks. And so I was just really, really missing my curls. And they did not come to play, okay? Now, I am no stranger to frizzy hair, especially this top part of my head. But I do think that my hair got frizzy very fast and it wasn't retaining water like it usually does. Um, so for my next wash day, I'm definitely going to go in with a true protein or elasticity treatment just to kind of give my hair a little more bounce back. But my hair feels really soft. It feels moisturized and my scalp feels clean. So I'm nice and prepped and ready for my leave-in conditioner. And this is a Sultanical Sprout Rice Vitamin Healthy Hair Milk. And the key ingredients are rice water or rice milk, biotin and MSM, which are great for strengthening and moisturizing the hair. This is really slick. Wow. Like, I almost feel like I have too much. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wait, hold up, hold up. Look at my hair. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Okay, 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 Sultana goes. Okay. <laughs> so, the wetter my hair, the more slippery this product is. However, on my hair that's like damp, it's still slippery. Like, as you can see, I can move my hands through. It's just, if you, you know, desire more slip, just add water. That's been my experience with all these products. Like, all of these Sultanical products have been super slippery. And then when you add water, it just kind of amplifies it, you know? But, you know, this is, this is, this is feeling good. And I actually got this from Sultanical's website for $9.99. And earlier this year, they announced that it was going to be in Walmart during the spring, but it's not in Walmart yet. And so once it's there, I'll let you know, or you can just subscribe to Sultanical's like newsletter and they will sure enough let you know, okay? <laughs> But y'all, this one hair milk has so many claims. All the yummy ingredients were put together to give us strength, moisture, elasticity, reduce hair loss, stimulate blood flow, dissolve hard water buildup, smooth the hair cuticle, and even more, okay? Just go to their website and you can see the big long list because it is a long list. But when it says that it softens, it really does soften the hair. Okay, so my hair is nice and coated with the leave-in. This even actually feels a little lightweight, like it's not really super heavy, but it still feels moisturizing. By no means do I feel like I'm lacking anything, but it's not a very heavy leave-in, so I think it's, you know, very versatile. So I'm gonna put a cap on my hair and then I will come back when I'm ready to style. It might be a little while, uh, cause I have to clean this tub because that mask made such a mess and probably eat, take a shower. But the next time you see me, it will be ready to style. So see you soon. And here I am two hours later, y'all. <laughs> I had to cook, clean, and do all the things. But as you can see, my hair drank, okay? Drank up this hair milk, and my hair feels very soft to touch. Since it's late at night, I wanna make this process go by smoothly. So I'm just gonna detangle my whole head first, which was actually very easy to do. And this is the first time I'm using my brush since I pre-pooed, which is pretty dope. And then after detangling, I'm just gonna section my hair into six sections. And then I'm going in with the Sultanicals Can't Believe It's Not Butter Sprout and Twist Out Cream. And unfortunately, this product is not at Walmart yet, so I got it on Sultanicals website, but it was still super affordable, that same $9.99 price. 
But this cream was also formulated with fermented rice water for improving hair elasticity. It has a nourishing combination of creamy butters and also Jamaican black castor oil. And all this goodness was put together to melt the strands, seal in moisture, promote hair growth, and shine, honey. And look at how it's smoothing and curling up these ends. I just love to see it. And you can use this cream for twist outs, braids, wash and goes, or whatever style you desire. And guys, this product has an interesting texture. It's like it's super creamy, but it still has like a little bounce to it, which I do not mind because the way that it was smoothing my hair was giving me life. And the cream also has some weight to it, probably from like the shea butter or the mango butter. So if your hair gets weighed down easily, I suggest not using a ton of this product. Just kind of start with a little bit and build on because it can get a little heavy. But if you're like me and you like your products to have a little weight to it, then you should definitely give this a try. But as you can see, the more that I work the product in, the smoother my hair gets. And if you buy this and you have trouble spreading the products on your hair, a little bit of water will go a long way. So just add a tiny bit of water and you should be fine. The thing I like about this butter is the versatility. It works well on damp or dry dry hair. On dry hair, you just have to make sure that you work it in very nicely, but it does a good job of smoothing the hair even when it's dry. Now, for those of you who don't like rice water, this line may not be for you because all of the products have some form of rice water, milk, bran, oil up in it. And it's crazy because after I used that Mayo rice water milk, I swore that my hair did not like rice water because my hair ended up being so frizzy and dry like on day two. But I didn't experience that with these products, guys. Like my hair really enjoyed the formulation. And so I would definitely recommend you giving them a try. But I'm just going to continue applying the cream, pressing it into my strands, using the brush to make sure that the product is fully distributed and then smooth some more and then twist. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Just look at my twist. <laughs> look at my twist. They are just so juicy and moisturized. And I can even see the shine as well. And I didn't have to use a ton of the product. As you can see, I barely put a dent in it. So you'll definitely get your money's worth. But my hair feels really good. And just by feeling it, I can already tell that my hair is going to have some good definition. But it is late at night. My feet are hurting. Your girl is tired. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And here I am the next day and my hair is fully dry and still got a nice bit of shine to it. But I'm just going to take a little bit of my melanin hair care oil, rub that all around, take my scrunchie from Bread Beauty to put some of my hair up, and then I'm going to unravel these twists. And guys, my hair is feeling and looking really good. Like the definition is there. I do see that I have a little bit of frizz, but y'all know I won't be taking my time, so is my fault but and I'm just gonna skip through the unraveling process because you guys have seen me do this a million times but I was able to separate my curls without any issues and if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I'm using everything is linked in the description box below of course I decided to do a side part and I'm just using my pick to make sure that my hair stays in place just to kind of get rid of some of those parts and here is a final look. I didn't have a chance to talk because I was getting ready for a meeting, but I am loving my results. So I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> okay, and here I am. First of all, can we talk about how I can still get my hair up into a bun? Like that was actually one of my concerns when I cut my hair. I was like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to wear my hair up anymore. But all I had to do was, I just had to put a couple pins to put pin up the back a little bit. And then, you know, here we are. We cute or whatever. I don't wanna hold you guys too long. I'm sure the video was hella long already. So let's talk about these products. Let's start with the shampoo. It had good slip. My hair felt soft when I rinsed it out. My hair felt clean. It didn't feel like squeaky clean. And I mean, this is more like a gentle cleanser to me. So it's not going to give you that stripped feeling, but my hair felt really good afterwards and my scalp felt clean. So that's all I needed for myself. Now, I don't know how cost effective it is because it's like done, but it's a good product. Next, we're gonna talk about the Sprout Tastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treatment. This mask was really, really fire. 
<laughs> this was good, okay? As y'all can see, I didn't even use that much. I could probably get two more uses out of this. Like the way that I glided onto my hair, like I didn't even need to apply it with water. I only did that because I prefer that type of application. But if you're someone who you like to deep condition on damp or dry hair, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> it spread through my hair very nicely. They all the products smell the same. It has a really nice smell. Now this is not going to be a strong like protein type of treatment. This is more on the side of moisture protein balance. And so you'll get the moisture and you'll get the strengthening. And I really like that about this. I have these, um, the regular, um, curl elastic joint over there, Afroclastic curl elastic. And I kind of want to compare them. I have not used that one yet, but after using this, I'm kind of excited to try that one. So this was definitely a win for me and I will definitely repurchase it. And it's gonna last me more than once. I mean, look, it's up at the top. So I could probably get, I'm not gonna say three more uses because you know, we heavy heads it over here. But I will say that I'll probably get a good two more uses, maybe two and a half. So loved this, okay? Next, we have the Sprout Rice Vitamin Healthy Hair Milk. And this was a good leave-in. Y'all, look how much I used. Look how much leave-in I used. It spread so nicely on my hair. Now, this is not a super thick leave-in conditioner. This is more like medium to light, but it's good, y'all. It's, it's good. It's lightweight, but it still gives you some good moisture. And so I really, really like this. And y'all, this can't believe it's not butter sprout and twist out. I loved this stuff too. This whole line was kind of like a banger and I didn't use that much of this either. This does such a good job of smoothing the hair and it has hold. Now, if you are someone that you do not like your hair to feel heavy, don't like that like little bit of that balmy feeling, you're not gonna like this because it does do that. But the, the good thing about it is today on day freaking 10, my hair still feels good. The parts of my hair that are not super frizzy, I could still feel that coating and it doesn't feel like product buildup. It just feels like my hair is really protected and this is very moisturizing. These two together are amazing. I don't think you need a super thick leave-in with this, but this has a really good hold to it. My twist felt good. My hair was like defined. When I separated my hair, there were certain parts that got like a little frizzy. Um, but it didn't bother me because one, also I don't take my time <laughs> is my user error. But I mean, I worked out about two, three times last week and I still look like a person, okay? I was able to wear my hair out for a lot of days. On day like five or six, I did do a scalp massage and my roots were starting to feel dry because I've been working out and sweating. Shout out to T25, my Lord. <laughs> the struggle but yeah i just put a little bit of oil on my roots and I, I did like a scalp massage and then i put a tiny bit in this dry section of my hair if you watch my trim video then i talked about how this one section of my hair just keeps breaking i don't know what it is so i'm just trying to pay it a little bit more attention and then yesterday when i put my hair up in like this bun i just put a little bit of the butter all over just to kind of tame some of the frizz and y'all, this does a really good job of laying the hair down. Like I noticed it when I was twisting my hair, but when I was putting my hair up in this little puff bun thing, it, it really showed itself out, okay? So I definitely would recommend you trying this butter if you don't try nothing else, but you need its friend. Like you need its, its special friend also. Yes, so I'm super excited. I'm super happy that I tried this line. The things that I would repurchase are, I would repurchase everything. The only product that I'm on the fence about is the butter shampoo only because it did not last. That's, that's the only reason, but it felt really good on my hair. It did a good job of, you know, gently cleansing and it was popping, okay? But those are all my thoughts, guys. Let me know down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. I need to go. I'm actually uploading my clay mask video right now, but until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye. <laughs>